A three way with two fit teachers, lucky fuck. Hello and welcome to the Gary Lynch Show with me, Gary Lynch. And these are the stories that piqued my interest today. Two teachers have been arrested on suspicion of having multiple, yes, multiple threesomes with a 16-year-old student. Now, everybody's torn on this one, with the lad saying, yeah, he's a lucky fucker, and the girl saying, oh, no, this is wrong. Like, there may be some on both sides. Majority sway that way. Me, personally, I think he's a lucky fucker, because the age consent for sex here in the UK is 16, so it's not a big deal for us. But obviously in America it's 18. So it's a bit one of them situations. But man, he's a lucky fucker. And the only reason he got caught is because he blabbed to everyone. Rumours spread. Police were involved. They questioned the lad and then he spilled his beans and he told them everything. He even told them that they filmed multiple sessions. In my opinion, kid, you had a good thing and you ruined it. And I'm not the only one who thinks that. Check out some of these comments, man. Some people kill it. And our question of the day. Do you believe this whole situation is wrong, it's messed up, it's completely gross, or no, do you think this kid ruined what was an awesome thing? Please let me know in the comments down below. Next up, in a story that's linked to the first one, a new program has come out on Channel 4 that aired last night called Stinson Pedophile Hunter. Basically similar to Datelines to Catch a Predator, where the guy sets people up, pretending to be little girls on the internet. As soon as they come to meet him, he fucking bombards them with cameras and all sorts of stuff as they try to run away. Fair play, this guy has everyone talking it records phone calls messages pictures everything and even footage of when they finally turn up it's passed on to the police and then charges are brought forward if you haven't seen the show yet I'm just about to watch it. I've only seen clips of it, but I thought I'd make the show first. It's awesome looking, and I'd advise anyone else to check it out. Everyone I know won't stop talking about it. And next up, Windows 10, because fuck Windows 9. Next year, mid-2015, we're going to see Windows 10. Where's Windows 9, you ask? There's no plausible explanation for it. After such a fuck-up with Windows 8, they got rid of the start button. The navigation system was messed up. The search feature. How do you mess up the search feature? But Windows managed to do it. Businesses held off upgrading their software. I personally held off as well because fuck Windows 8, that was a fucking pile of shit. I stuck with my Windows 7 until something else better come along. I'm going to wait a little bit after it comes out because Windows is prone to fuck ups along with Apple. Yeah, Windows 8 was such a fail of an operating system. It's no surprise they reintegrated the search feature, they reintegrated the start menu and tried to bring a few of those features from Windows 8, you know, the little tabs and the apps and all that bullshit onto the start menu. Nobody wants that shit Microsoft. They, they want like Windows 7, but what runs better, but looks like Windows 7. That's what people want. I had a touch screen computer. I still didn't use the fucking touch screen capabilities of it. I just want click, search, oh, start menu. Oh, what do I want? No, I'm to switch between desktop mode into that other bullshit mode, to then click in the bottom right corner, wait for it to pop up, then click the search button, and then, to, it's just fucking why? Whoever come up with that needs slapping. You need me, Microsoft, I'm volunteering my services to you. Free of charge? All you have to do is email me, look at, thinking about doing this and this. What do you think? And I'll be like, Phew. Bullshit, mate. Fuck that up. Fuck that up. Yeah, that looks good. Mate, I'll do that for free. Just get in touch with me. And our last story today. Four guys have been charged with hacking the US Army and Microsoft. Although two have only pled guilty to it, they hacked and stole Apache Simulator software along with source codes for the Xbox One, Call of Duty games and Gears of War games before release. Their idea was to make a counterfeit Xbox One, obviously for themselves and their friends. The two guys who pled guilty are currently being charged and the other two guys who pled not guilty are still being took through the courts and they're trying to charge them with hacking offences. Kids got some balls. I mean, I've heard of people hacking some dumb shit, right, celebrities or whatever, but to hack the US Army, you got a fucking death wish. And that's it for the Gary Lynch Show. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button down below. If you didn't like it, tell me in the comments. Or if you did like it, tell me in the comments as well. I want to know your feedback. If you don't like something I'm doing, you tell me and I'll change it. Obviously, if it's something daft, like wear a pink hat or something, girl. I'll have to think about that one. <laughs> I'm Gary Lynch, and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's <laughs> go.